everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Hey guys, sorry I haven't gotten a video up in a while, but I was too busy doing other people's videos, like Sean Atwood. On January 19th, uh, 2023, I did a two hour interview with Sean over in England. Not that I went to England, but that's where he is. And um, it was great. It's gonna be on 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's gonna be uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time over here. And as far as mountain people and central people, I don't know what that time is. We're gonna, we're gonna have to figure out the time, I don't know. All right, listen, listen. So I got a really good video for you today. It's not only is it another Roy story, but it's a Roy story and Chris Rosenberg, Rosenstein, Rosengood, whatever his name is, I, I don't even know. But everybody knows who I'm talking about. It's, it's, it was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna label this like something like the death stare. I haven't figured out the thumbnail yet because I just started the video. So, okay, this is 1974, and um, I'm in Roy's Cadillac. Roy's driving. Chris is in the front passenger seat, and I am sitting directly behind Chris in a straight line with the driver, Roy DeMail. And we're on our way to Elizabeth, New Jersey, and I'll tell you why, what, why, what we did in Elizabeth, New Jersey on another video down the road. Okay, so for those of you that haven't watched all my Roy videos, and by the way, you know, there's other interesting videos on my channel other than Roy. We got Daniel Staub, we got Joe Rifkin, the serial killer, Mad Dog Sullivan. There's a whole bunch of videos from the past that I'm sure all you Roy fans are going to want to see. Just try it. Try it. You'll like it. So anyway, um... This is a Roy and Chris story. So we're in the car, we left Jamaica, Queens, and we're heading for Elizabeth, New Jersey. Now the reason that Roy hated me so, as I'm sure everybody's gonna, can relate to this, especially all you punks out there, that if somebody slaps you around and the cause of the that interaction uh, is me, okay? You're not gonna like it one bit that there's somebody walking around with that story. I saw Joey Bracchini slap the crap, kick the crap out of Roy DeMeo. The first the seconds I laid eyes on him, go back and look at those videos. I'm not even gonna point over here to just check it out. You, Roy guys probably already saw it. So he, I watched him get punked out. And boy, did he try to get rid of me in more ways than one. He tried to get rid of me and he couldn't do it because I was Joey Bikini's boy. And Joey didn't like this guy, Chris, one bit. So let's, let me tell you what happened. So now we're on our way to Elizabeth, New Jersey. And we're, uh, I'm in the back seat, Roy's driving, Chris is in the front seat. And then all of a sudden, now we're, we're on the highway, it's, a, it's a, about an hour and a half ride to, to Elizabeth from Jamaica, Queens. So um, we're driving and I can see Roy's eyes in the rear view mirror. I could see him. I could see his eyes nose. I'm, that's what I'm gonna do with the thumbnail. I'm gonna make it like the devil. He's like, he's like Satan, this guy. So as we're driving, you know, we'd be talking and he'd give me the look and I could see his eyes. Couldn't see Chris, but I could see him in the, in the rearview mirror. All of a sudden, Chris starts telling the story. Yeah, last night we were with so-and-so. Now I forget the guy's name. It was probably a mob guy. I don't know, but he was, a supposed, to, he was supposed to be a tough guy. And he goes, yeah, Chris goes, yeah, and you're not going to believe. I thought, Vito, Vito, the guy whose name was Vito. It was Vito. See how he comes back to me? He goes, hey, we were at a strip club last night, and Vito was there, and he was effing with this stripper, and then all of a sudden, this big black guy comes around the bar and goes, hey, why don't you apologize to the lady? And he starts, he starts with Vito. Vito tells him to go F himself. 
The big black guy snatches him by the collar and does this. Bop, 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 bop. And maybe bop, another one. I don't know how many bops, but he slaps him. So now Roy's going, oh crap, if I start telling the story about what, that's the same exact thing that happened to Roy when Joey slapped the taste out of his mouth. So he's going on with the story and Roy, like usually if guys, if another guy tells me a story like that to, to a mutual friend, I'll be going, man, are you kidding me? Tell me more. Like what? Like, what? I can't believe that. What? Tell me more. Not big mouth Roy. He stayed quiet. So now he's looking at me going, I got the same story that Chris is telling him, except my story is about Roy. And we're going on and, and, and uh, Chris won't stop. He's dragging this story. That was the essence of the story. Their tough guy friend was at a strip club. He had a confrontation with another guy. The guy slaps him around. The tough guy doesn't do nothing because this is a big black guy. And the tough guy doesn't do nothing. That should be cause for concern. Because if you think that somebody that you're doing business with, Crooked said, isn't what they say they are, then what's going to happen when they take a collar? They're going to snitch. That's what they're going to do. But Roy, that, Roy didn't say anything. He just went, ah. So then Chris keeps going with the story. Then Roy takes his trigger finger and he's driving and he goes like this. He pushes the rear view mirror right so that it's facing me. Like I can see myself in the mirror, not, he, not the, rear, the, the, the back of the road. It's got me and his eyes, and he's just shooting me daggers. Like if looks could kill, I would have been melted right there in the back seat. I would have been melted. And he's staring at, and I'm not saying a word. Because of course, I don't know Vito. I, who, I, I don't know Vito, but, but Chris don't shut the hell up. And I mean, he must have went on with this story for 10 minutes. And then finally, then finally, Roy takes his finger and puts it in Chris's face. Enough already. Who gives a fuck? Who get? I don't give a enough. Enough. And then he gives me one more dirty look, and then he readjusts the mirror, and we go on our way. Now, I think that's a very interesting story. It tells a great deal about this guy, Roy. Um, you know, a, a lot of people say he was not a punk, and that the only reason that Joey Bikini got away with slapping him around is because Joey was a made man. And the rules of the mafia is if you put a hand, your hand on a made man, you get killed. So I, I don't know. But all, all I know is uh, I remember sitting back, trying to adjust my head so that I would be out of the frame of the mirror. And I couldn't. I, I was, he, put the, he put the thing as if to secretly tell me with his death stare. Like, like I'm going to have my editor put red, like, like friggin' laser beams. Like he wanted to just kill me. If he, in other words, if I say a word about what happened, he was going to kill me. Anyway, that's, a, that's an important story. We just got done celebrating Roy's 40th uh, year in hell. January 10th it was, where he's down there cooking. And um, so anyway, um, again, uh, Sean Atwick, all you people, be there or be square. January 19th, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, that 9 p.m. Eastern time.